Just a handful of points between Lisa Norton and Aaron Dencham as they go after the number one ranking at the end of the year. And what a cultural experience for the 4,000 plus age groupers. Time for the elite women to dive in. 14 and a half degree water temperature and very tightly bunched together. That's Rachel Klommer pushing the swim up front. Sarah Gruff not too far off behind. Jessica Harrison as well. And as they come out of the water, Klommer with another great swim. Aaron Dencham very close to the front. Lisa Norton, we found out just uh, last night she had food poisoning and almost didn't show up for the race. She spent the evening in the hospital on an IV, got home just in time for the race. Not quite sure if she's gonna be able to make it through the day here. And fairly early on on the bike ride, it's Aaron Dencham who had to pull out with a bit of flu. You can see her right there. It has not been a great day for Aaron Dencham. Medical issues, what a great season, however. So many podiums, the bronze at the Olympic Games, disappointment in the final race of the year, however. And Felicity Abram trying to make another one of her breaks on this bike course. We're not sure if anyone's gonna be able to ultimately get away. Some great Kiwi athletes on this course, including Nikki Samuels and Kate McElroy. And there's Annie Hogg, who's continued to have a brilliant bike ride. She was 45 seconds back at one point, but has been able to ride herself along with her teammate Baslin up into the lead group. And I think that is Kate McElroy making a bit of a break here. She's got about 20 seconds. Is she able to hold off the rest of the crew? I don't think so. It is a tough course to get away and to stay away. These 24 hills are relentless on the legs. I believe it's gonna come down now to the run. The chase packs has the likes of Gwen Jorgensen, the Canadian Lauren Campbell, they are well back. Will they have a chance to make up any room? Look at that, it's one of the Spanish athletes down. Nearly 20 athletes off the bike, out onto the run. Andrea Hewitt having a very slow transition. Sarah Gruff as well, they're well back. Yuri Ide continuing to lead up front now, a group of about 13 or 14 women. And there you can see Hewitt, McElroy, Barbara Riveras, Gwen Jorgensen was back by a minute, but she is running herself back into this field. Incredible. Look at Jorgensen. She's just about to bridge up. Annie Haug now taking off the front. What a brilliant move. You can see Norton right there. She's in about fourth spot. She will claim number one by the end of the season, but the woman who will claim victory here, Annie Haug in front of an incredibly large crowd. What a brilliant performance. Here comes a sprint for second. Jorgensen will claim second. There's Riveras, and here comes Lisa Norton. She'll be number one for the year. Never thought I can do that, but it's amazing, and I'm, I'm, I'm losing the words. I don't know what to say. It's great. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> What a gutsy performance. You are the world champion. That's, that's pretty incredible. The way I was feeling this morning, being in hospital with uh, food poisoning, I didn't think I was going to be able to start it today. And pulling through this race, I was digging the deepest I ever have dug in my life.